so this is Nautilus's path. Um, Bard versus Nautilus, two star Bard versus two star Nautilus. Let's do this. Okay, so power, let's see what we get. Um, your draw cards cost one less, survival cards grow. Uh, I think we'll. Actually, this is even better. Growing is pretty good. Considering the fact that our cards already grow, right? So grow, grow. But the one cost 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 the card costing one less is very beneficial against uh the Nautilus matchup. You can play Bard one turn early. It's fine. So two mana, we'll play this or this. We're attacking, so we'll play this. There we go. Card grows, that's nice. We won't take that. He will go wide. We'll play Bard and challenge it with this and open attack. And full attack, I mean. So that's four. We can't really do anything about that. We'll attack with this. Attack with this. And end of this. They're going to trade it like this. Okay, they're not trading. This guy has regen, so he's going to come back. I don't want to necessarily trade it to that guy. We'll do a full swing after next I think next turn and we'll win when we're growing pretty well this is one mana so we, what we'll do is we'll play this beefy unit first we'll play this and we'll open attack next turn but they're attacking we we'll block it like this. Block it like this. And sacrifice our this. We have another unit to play. Yeah, all our units grow if we survive, so. We will attack a full swing and take a challenger to the right. So we'll full swing, take the challenge to the right. Okay, so far so good. Two damage to face, a little painful. Okay, so I think I should take a vengeance. I think I should take a vengeance because we have to go against Nautilus, right? So keeping one vengeance in deck is this is also pretty good. Three mana fast attacker that grows is also good. This helps us uh, draw, but we will keep one vengeance, two vengeance just in case, because the matchup against Nautilus is going to be very painful. Okay. So we have a listen. Uh, I don't really like any of them, because remember that anything that is slow, like five mana, seven mana, is going to get is going to contest against Nautilus in the long run. Um, I will take Katarina. Elawi is also pretty decent, but I will take Katarina. Katarina gives us rally. Imagine full uh, board of buffed unit and then Katarina makes us yeah, rally. Okay, so champion attachment, shop, which is more important. Shop or champion attachment? In my opinion, shop. In my opinion, definitely shop. Because shop gives us power, where a champion attachment is a champion attachment. It's debatable, actually. You can have champion attachment to be pretty crazy as well. But I kind of like power, having more powers. Okay, so there, we are defending. So we'll play this. They will pass, probably. Okay, vulnerable. It's still a good trade for us. No, it don't. It's a permanent? Oh, it's a permanent. Okay, so what we want to do is we will play this first. Then we'll play that. Okay. Funny that they actually got too elusive. Okay, so we will do this because when this hits Nexus, it recalls. So. 
good for us. Oh shit, I forgot. That's elusive. My bad. That was stupid of me. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I forgot that that's elusive. But that recalls so that they technically lose tempo. Oh yeah, kills one to grow something. Okay, vulnerable. And it could be worse. Okay, so we'll sacrifice this. And this will go back to the hand. So they will have nothing in their hand. So it won't grow anymore. So there's it can't grow because there's nothing on the board. Uh, that deck basically kills something on the board. And transfer its stats to the strongest one. Okay. Uh, how do I do this? Actually, I will attack swing. They, even if they kill it like this, it's fine by us. Do we have a stun? Slaughter ducks. Life steal. Nice. How much mana do we have next turn? If we have enough for 8, we can finish them off. We have enough for 8. So we have 9 mana. So what we do is we'll pass and see what they do. We devour. Breaks a spell shield, no problem by us. We will do stun. And we have a overall as well. So we play this on the right side so that life still happens first and we have enough damage. Exactly enough. If we didn't have enough, we would just might. Yeah, Bard, Bard Squad has life still capability. So this one done. We get three, one, 300 gold so we can buy a power here. Barrier. Spell shield. Cost. Ice strike. And ally strike is the strongest and we kiss it. We'll take it. A removal. Pretty decent. Let's go to power. Dias is weird. This is weird. Your spell costs one less. It's decent. And a second shop, which we can't technically buy the power off. Challenger. Uh, we don't have anything. We'll just leave. Spell attachment. Item attachment. Good item attachment. Oh god, item attachment sucks. Yeah, item att attachment actually sucks. The reason why this sucks is because this is basically a battle of treasure trove. And it can go really out of control. Ra because it's randomness. Oh, fine, fine. Let's go. This is so weird, this fight. It can just like, we can just lose here. If they got some random ass stuff. Okay, so we'll throw away one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Good for us. Good curve. There we go. One, two, three, four. Perfect curve. Even though we won't play one. Okay. So we played this. And get an owl cat. I'd rather have more units than one big, big unit. I'll get his buffed. Okay, so good. Turn skip. Yeah, so it's our attacking turn. We want to play as wide as possible, right? We're doing very good damage. We actually have a lot of small units. So whatever, like, unit pressure they want to give, we can actually take it. So this guy is going to kill this guy. There we go. First treasure trove. Second treasure trove. Okay, so now what we want to do, we have to, like, 
empty our entire hand. This is dying to this. Yes, we know that we are sacrificing this as well. We want we want to put everything on the board, by the way. That's why sacrificing it. Like we didn't need to do this. But we want this to come on the board. Treasure Troll gives five cards, right? So you have to have minimum. Yeah, like exactly like this. We need four spaces on it. Yeah, okay, now it's good. Now we get one card. We still have space for four more. You'll see what I mean. Treasure Troll can't be played with too many cards in your hand. So treasure tove is played and we get a bunch of stuff but they didn't get their treasure trove unlucky S yeah spell costing one list is pretty good if you think about it because we had a lot of spells in our hand uh in our deck okay let's see what we get we get a seven seven challenger we get that we get this we get this we get this deal one to unit if one of your traps or room activated this turn deal three to it instead so we'll replace this with this I'll replace this with this. This is elusive, right? Grant me plus two if you played a six plus. We haven't played a six plus. So we'll do this. I think this should do it. I think we have enough damage. Okay, we don't have enough damage, but we're almost there. The, the reason why this is random is because they they start using treasure trove as well. Everyone uses treasure trove every turn, exactly, every turn. So it becomes a pure RNG fight across the board. <laughs> to a unit, don't want to do it to any unit. Because like, like this turn they're gonna use treasure trove, I'm gonna also gonna use treasure trove. But it's a fun random game, yeah. We have no idea what we're gonna get. So they use treasure trove, we use treasure trove. Hopefully they won't get ruination. They do this, we do this. <laughs> See what we get. Ah, uh, not the greatest. Don't those fools know? Okay. I own this city. We'll just pass. Yeah, we'll just keep passing. So what we'll do is we will use this and fire this. The clear skies or storm, we sail. One life in exchange for we'll play this. This will summon a monkey and it will summon a monkey next turn. And we'll win. Okay, so we'll block it with this. Just two damage. We can't play this because if you play this, we won't have a space for the monkey to come next turn. So the monkey will come and we automatically win because the monkey will do one damage. So we will just put the monkey in front and attack so that when it dies, we automatically win. We have a Katarina as well. So we attack like this. Doesn't matter what we pull because when this hits, we automatically win. A good game. But the, th the thing that we should look at is our hand, which is very good, like Vengeance, Minimorph. This is the type of hand you need against Nautilus. We'll take it. Grant the top ally in your deck 6-6. Six, six. Salvage. I don't know what the salvage is. I'm gonna go to salvage to just check what that is. Q1 H. Yeah, no. We have too many removals that is it. Uh, 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 as it is. We have three removals. Many more vengeance and crumble. We don't need more. Six removals in deck. So we'll leave. Go here. Uh, let's remove one of the cards. Might will never do anything in my opinion. Yeah. Might will not do shit. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Sucks. He sucks so much. Yeah. He's a tempo loss, if anything. 
I never liked that card, especially in uh, PvE. In PvP is really good. So we'll throw away these two. We'll keep it. We are against Sejuani. This fight is pretty good. Pretty hard, I mean. But we have answers for Sejuani. Okay. Can't, we can't do, do anything about that. The thing that you have to remember that we do play slow. Way slow compared to them. Soon we are gonna get our second attachment on a bard. We can attack with both. It's nice, nice. It's growing. Our bard is gonna come on the board. He's gonna give vulnerable to one of them, I'm gonna assume. Yeah, okay. Frostbite. So he. So we challenge with Bard. Should have actually acted. He would have gotten a uh, Sejuani stack. Fine by us. Beefy unit, beefy unit. Question is do we challenge? This won't do good. So we will just play the biggest unit on the board. Because Sejuani is coming. Okay. I don't know why that was done. Okay. To protect it. Okay. We won't attack. We will attack with us. Elusive. Uh, you remember the Sejuani is coming next turn. And when he comes next turn, we're just gonna mini morph him during the attack, not the moment he's played. Okay, she's ex extremely big, by the way. Okay. Uh, exactly. 6 8. So we will just pass and see what they do. They do are doing like this. That means they're gonna get a stack regardless of what we do, right? So what we want to do is do this and block like this and mini morph it. <laughs> it has one extra HP. Cool bias. Cool, cool. We play. Do you have a beefier unit? Nope. This is the beefiest. So we will prep our Katarina now. Uh, we will play this. So we can trade it into that. Actually, we don't even need, need to trade it into that. Scargon is here. We will kill it. It's just a neck. We will pull the highest HP unit to the side by this guy, so that the other will put pressure on them. Yeah, 21 damage. And Katarina is leveling up, so we will get an attack next turn. They'll never know what them. We lose a unit, of course. So we'll prep this, prep this, and we'll have Katarina next turn to attack with. Rand uh, Tech is letting it get more attack. So we have a uh, mini morph to defend against Sejuani or Tusk Rider. So we'll play Katarina and we win. They will attack like this, we can trade it like this, take the entire 8. And we'll open attack. I'm in full swing. And there we go. Because of the removal, by the way. This game goes really out of control if you do, don't deal with Sejuani. I mean, if you get them on the right moment, uh, I think this is very good. Basically, Bard comes on the board for free. I will take it. Attack for free. And Echo Free is pretty decent as well, by the way. Katarina levels up instantly, but... I will take this free bard. Okay, we'll create a card. When you play a spell, deal one to the enemy next. So you created cards one less. Okay, so that means a lot of... Let's see, what created cards do we have? The only one created card we we have is this, but this gets discounted by the spell thing. Uh, yeah, but we have a lot of uh, owl cat. Owl cats are gonna cost zero. This is pretty good. We are never gonna go that path. 
The full strength enemy next to skits draw one. Okay. This little swarmy fight. I know that. They flood the board up like very fast. Like turn one, you will see they're summoning like five units or some shit like that. Unlucky. We are attacking. The reason why you we took the created cards cost one less is you're gonna see it. We play this, you get out cat out cat is zero. Yeah. All out all cats are zero. So you'll always have a free blocker unit. Not always, but you know what I mean. Okay. Cat is coming on the board. We have defensive capability. So play this first. They might make it rain. That's gonna suck. Okay. That sucks. Play this. Actually, we'll attack with everything. Yeah. I'll take the full trade. Katarina comes back. You have a level Katarina already now. Spike the face. And we have a uh, uh, deal to stun for defensive purposes. There we go. We get another Gowl Cat. Nice. Terrorist does 2 damage. <laughs> it grows. That's nice. Oh, it's vulnerable. He's gonna pull it and kill it. Unlucky. It's fine. This will die to uh, Katarina's knife next turn. But technically we can't attack. Then we're losing value. There we go. We play Bard. We get the full mana value. We play this. Grows. Shit. He grows by... Actually, can't really attack. Yeah, we have to play Katarina then. Inefficient, I know, but we have to do this. We play this. And now we can... If Katarina go back to my hand, right? He <laughs> does go back to my hand. Okay, so what we do is we do this and do this. back to my hand stats resets that sucks and that should do it yeah we're okay with it this dies to two dam damage stun by the way so we're not too worried we are just slowly getting cards and removals okay. so what we want to do is play this say do this we do this Two damage block, yeah. That stays blocked. We open attack. And we have challenge a Katarina, so we'll pull and kill it. Katarina doing the work. We'll do this. Knife it, open attack, then we have Katarina to attack again. Katarina is like carrying us. So we do this with might. For more damage. Can we play Katarina? Attack again. And we have another Katarina. Okay, shuffles it to the deck. We open attack. They will block it like this. And we win because we'll just knife it. We can play Katarina again, but we don't need to waste time. We'll just knife it. Pretty good, pretty good. Question is, is it good enough to fight Nautilus? We'll, there's only one way to find out. Be feared than the original. Of course, I'll take it. So nice. Three mana, four, eight. I'll take it. Healer. Citrus Courier. I don't know what he does. Gift. I heal for my Nexus. 
Nah, I don't like any of them. We go to shop and see what we can get. Uh, start officer. Not the worst, not the best, but not the worst. Um, we will take one of these. It gives us one extra mana. Champion attachment spell. We'll go for champion attachment. Better value. So we'll be going up against Nautilus with seven powers. Not the greatest. I don't actually have too much faith in this deck, but it's fine. Um, we are attacking. I'll keep this squad for the time being. I actually want the three mana five eight one. Okay. We'll play this. I told you the owl cat costs zero, right? So we play this. We get an owl cat. Owl cat costs zero. So turn one, we have three units on the board. We'll always this guy, this girl is always gonna give us a free, free owl cat to be played on an attacking turn so that's pretty good never ending supply of units so they play that we play i think we should play katarina we can play katarina we can play katarina next turn as well yeah there we go so we block it like this block it like this actually we block it like this then we'll trade this with this next turn and Katarina kills that next turn. No one is the wiser. It's a turn 8. We will play Katarina. Katarina got regen. That's unlucky. That's also unlucky. So we'll just kill this. It's just a deck. So we can't technically attack. We can attack. And we will let ca kill that one. The reason why killing this is because this thing grows when uh, they go to 10. So we are actually trading it for low value. Minimorph. Let fury spill from the sky. You're not gonna do anything. You're gonna do anything. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to do two damage to this and stun this because this is overwhelm and we technically have to sacrifice something so we'll sacrifice this we'll take four damage it's fine yeah we are in a bad spot we're in a very bad spot technically we'll see what they do yeah, they killed everything. We'll sentence it. This is that matchup, yeah. That hard game. So they're in a much better spot. We're gonna take a lot of damage. Okay. And they draw even more. And that's actually a, the 8 mana one. Okay. It's not 8 mana man. Okay. Five. Can't kill any of them. Kill this. Lower the damage of this. This is a perfect example of our we not drawing our cards. We didn't get Bard, we didn't get the three mana one, nothing. We got nothing. All the cheap units in one sequence. See? Yeah, so I think we we'll keep on playing. Yeah, so this is a lost run. I lost five, that mean. I think I do have one revive. Yeah, too many removals. There we go, one loss. I think I deserve this loss. Putting it, my deck was inconsistent, inconsistent. I was having a feeling for that a while. That we don't have a revive. So, oh, we do have a revive. Nice, nice. So let's use our revive. See, now we get our card. This guy. <laughs> we didn't get this guy at all last turn. See, all of our cards are coming down. Let's see if we can actually still make a difference. Okay, so what we want to do is attack first. Put the thing in. 
Because we were not gonna risk this guy anyway. Because this gives us one mana and we are on Bart's turn already. So you play this. See how much of a difference it makes if we actually get the cards that we want. So we'll play this. Six. So we'll do this to destroy that. Like this. Just, oh, we, we, we could have just knifed the face. Kills two, right? How many does it kill? This is actually the most problematic unit in their set. So still does a lot of damage. Ooh! ooh. Damn, this guy got challenger. I think that's enough of him. Two damage short. You have an ang angry owl cat to combine this again if we need to deal with it. Uh, his healing face. I'm gonna sacrifice this for this. It gives something that I'll draw plus six plus six. Not, not the best card. So we'll let it go through. We'll let that go through. What does this give? One cost. So we want to do this and do two damage here and block stun here. We'll take two damage. It's fine. I mean three damage. Yeah, so our we are getting like horrible final draws. So we'll do this. They have more cards than us, so it's not actually good for us. This we got strike. So we'll do this. Strike's the strongest and weakest. not attacking it's all about who is like gonna draw the better card here deal two damage stun and unit take the chill off. it's actually good it's a five actually it's not that bad we'll transform this Holy face off. Yeah, whoever gets a good top deck actually will win the game. One top deck is all it takes. Okay. So this should do it. Kills this and kills this. I think that was it for us. Of course I will take it. It's a little elusive. 2 and a 9, 10. There we go. <laughs> See how much the chances go up if you actually draw what you need. Yeah. Good game, good game. See, we got. 
Portal Snake is nice. Champion attachment. Rally. I think Elusive Bard is pretty good. I think. Elusive Gathering is not going to be good at all. Yeah. Elusive Rally is pretty good. We'll kill for 7 and we'll reach the final fight, which is Nautilus. This is 2 star bar versus 2 star Nautilus with 0 revive. We lost our revive here. <laughs> Okay, when, a, a, when any a unit dies, heal the force nexus for one and the four tosses one if they aren't deep. I'm not too confident about this fight, like, at all. <laughs> but we have a good amount of, yeah, removal in our deck. So, we'll keep this in our hand for Nautilus coming on turn 7, I believe. Yeah. So, Nautilus is ready in their hand. Okay, Vile Feast already. We will... Okay, it's a defensive turn, so we'll play this. We'll play this because it's our offensive turn, and we get a free Owl Cat from this. So this should be good. We know that we have one answer for Nautilus. We have to worry about the two Nautilus that will come, right? We can deal with one, the first one. These are not actually the cards that we want. We're getting too many spells. We don't have unit supply. Okay. Vile Fist, unlucky. So far, so slow. Bard is on the board. Okay. And for next turn, the actual chaos is gonna start. Play this. Bard is quite off. Dewar is gonna start coming in now. Yeah, their drawing is bad in my opinion. Okay, so we have our second removal. These removals are all for... Um, these removals are all for... I can do two damage right here. For not loss. So, they attack. Do we care? Actually, we do. I still oh, so the next turn uh, not is coming so you have to be we have to go wide right now because we will never get the chance to do it are they deep they are not but they're very close actually they're not even close so we'll do this and get rid of this guy because this guy is gonna grow and we have 12 damage we are very close but you'll see how much the game changes when he comes on the board the big guy so there we go we know for a fact that they have entered deep or close to deep there we go we we left the first removal of this guy so they have entered deep this will turn into a sea monster and the actual fight starts next turn they're gonna continuously play devour the deep and shit like that. Hopefully they won't get okay, they got a elusive one. But we got might. Unfortunately we couldn't put it on anything. They're put so we'll definitely uh, doing two damage here and stun this guy. We'll keep our thing for later. Did they attack with this? We don't block it. We don't block it. So we open attack immediately. We open attack immediately. 
if this guy had spell shield we could have played better okay so what we want to do is uh de shot as much damage as possible right so we want to de shot damage through here three damage short it's fine by us yeah so each one of them is gonna give us an owl cat so they're tossing we have a very big unit on the board to defend even against nautilus we have lethal through the elusive hitters by the way actually we don't have elusive hitter hit wins we're just keeping our vengeance for nautilus that's it we are very close now katarina is gonna do one one damage to face two damage to face just throwing back that into our deck it's cool we're cool uh, we, are, we won't play anything unless we really need to. We want to wait for them to attack first. Yeah, so they use their mana up. Now we can put this so that we can defend. Shit, they have... Oh, damn. Yeah, I forgot that he gives... Shit, did we lose? Yeah, I think we lost. But no, wait. We don't lose. Yep. We stay in the game by doing this. So we kill this we take absolutely massive damage we play katarina against this guy we will throw this to the face and we'll open attack next turn we have one uh, two uh, card disadvantage as in attacker so all the elusive sh spell shield should attack first attack like this I think they should do it. Yeah. I got we got him. Oh, we didn't get him. Oh shit, he's healing back. Yeah, damn, damn, yeah, he's healing back. No one gets in my way. Oh, I, I forgot that if you kill something, it heals. No, no. This is such a bad way to lose the game. Let's play these first. <laughs> so if we attack, we get one. Then we play this. We do one. It's just a game. If we attack, it comes back to our hand. If they don't open attack, we win. If they open attack, we lose. And we win. We win because it's AI. Holy shit. I think, oh wait, do they have heal? the game holy shit because of ai mistake yeah but we'll take it we'll take it absolute calculation <laughs> a win is a win what a dumb way to win the game yeah whatever <laughs> like if this was like a galio level or like draven high level this will never would have worked but it's fine a win is a win horrible way to win but still hey everyone thank you so much for tuning in do let me know in the comment section of which videos you want next like yasuo versus galio or bard versus draven or any of their campaign mission the only one left to be unlocked is garen so you have to wait a little till i have him unlocked for his request for a path with that being said have a great day take care and catch you next time bye